It's uh, wonderful to be here and sharing with you some of my experiences and experiments. You know, as a musician, it is very difficult to talk about music. Why? Because I feel that music being a language in itself, it's difficult to talk about it in any other language other than by producing it the way we call it music. It's like talking in Tamil to understand Telugu. <laughs> Will that be possible? And why do I say that? What do I mean by that? I will try my best to communicate what I feel. It will not be an exaggeration to say that music is the most popular among all art forms and it is sought after by anyone who have ears in their right place. So what is so unique about music, which is not there in any other art form? Can anyone say what it is? What's so unique? I will say it myself. This is the only art form which uses the auditory senses to create a feeling. All the other art forms are visual. Music is an extraordinary language which creates an impact on everyone's heart through the ears. So now let me play a, play a small bit of music for you. Most of you wouldn't have hear, heard this music, so I want you to feel the music the way it's projected. So hearing this music, each one of you will have a different kind of feel, different kind of mood created by the music. Some created by the visuals inspired by the music and others by the emotion of the music itself. So generalizing from what I have said, we can say that Music gives the listener freedom to create a mood, emotion, and thereby a visual, and lifts the rasika to a higher frame of mind. I will go further ahead and play two more songs. And one is from a film, and other is a traditional kriti. You will find that, surprisingly, both of them have the same melodic <laughs> Thank you. 
Hearing this song, you will have, um, you will feel a romantic mood created by the words. Okay. Okay, uh, you heard two different songs, but both of them having the same melodic line. You will see that the music is hidden behind the words, isn't it? The feel of the music is more from the words than the melody itself. See, in the first song, we had romantic lyrics. So it was projecting the emotion of romance, the hero and the heroine jumping away to glory. And the second one, same melody, but you change the lyrics to Mahaganapatim. You know what will happen. So, see, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play you the same melody, which is uh, different from what you heard. Okay. So, when you hear uh, this instrumental version, though they are playing only the melody, not the lyrics, you heard three different versions now. One is the Chennai Sen Tamil song. Second is Mahagadapadim. Then you heard the instrumental version. Now when you, what happens is now, you listen to the instrumental version, is it possible for you to come out of these already forced images and appreciate, understand and create a mood other than the one you are used to listening? Is it possible for you? When you hear the instrumental version, immediately that either if you, if you, if you know only the Chen Chennai Sandamir song, you will go to the romantic mood or if you have listened to only Mahagadapatim, you will go to that mood immediately. But actually, the melodic line might have completely different feel, isn't it? That's what we are missing. So the emotional part of music is lost somewhere in the words that depict the visuals. As I told you before, music being, being an auditory art form has now become subservient and ancillary to the visual form. Though it sounds easy for marketing purposes, the concept takes away one great dimension of music and gives it a narrow approach. This great dimension which is left un unexplored is instrumental music. We can call it pure music. The importance of words have become so very powerful that pure music has taken a backseat. All the possibilities creative expressions through pure music takes a beating. From being a limitless option, it has become a restricted option. We are forced into appreciating what is dished out as song with lyrics. I, being not only a violin player, but also a singer, composer, find it very claustrophobic. To extricate myself from being bound by some imaginary concept, I found out a way out of this mesh by composing melodies and ragas and talas from a very young age. To my utter delight and joy, 
with a lot of humility I say this, I find that when we play these compositions in concerts, audiences from all over the world, irrespective of differences in region, religion, language, color, are appreciative of the music that we play. And that is what is instrumental music. It goes beyond region, religion, color. It de-regionalizes the music and de-religifies the music, which is, which is a great thing. To popularize this concept, we needed a name for it, and we have named it as Raga Pravagam, music without lyrics. And I play you now another song, which is in the same rag as the Chennai Sandam, Sandamal. Okay, so listen to this. Same raga as. Chennai Sandamir and Mahaganapatim. Here, we give you the freedom to create a mood. Apart from the mood that I have created for myself, to create a mood, create an emotion, create a visual as you want. So, I genuinely feel that to, it's possible, I genuinely feel that it's possible to do something like this. Over the years, we have played entire concerts named Raga Pravagam to appreciative audiences in Chennai Sabhas. I consider, my, when, I, when, when I play with my brother Kumareshji, we consider it a great achievement as the audiences are mostly appreciative but for a few naysayers and doomsday philosophers. This has really helped us to see music as a universal language to collaborate with musicians from all over the world playing different genres of music. So to conclude, in many aspects we can say that today's generation is spoiled for choices. All sorts of pursuits are encouraged these days, out of which engineering and management courses are very popular. That is why we need to focus also on our traditional subjects linked to our culture and make it more appreciative through engineering and management angle. We also find from lots of scientific research that artistic sensibilities help us to become more understanding towards different things in life and also to look at things from a different perspective for which there must be a scientific approach to the system. Thank you, dear friends.